Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, I want to thank the organizing committee. I see a lot of my friends here, so friends from UNC, Ray Williams, a lot of friends from around the country, around the world, so thank you for coming. When we talk about the aesthetic zone, and Sophocles did a really great presentation on the, on the importance of the implant risk assessment, and we'll talk a little bit about that, but we're looking at it as a very complex procedure in the hands to do it right. Uh, we have portions where we have to really do very good diagnostics. Obviously, the surgery has to be done meticulously, as well as the restorative therapy as well. So when you put this all together, we're looking at a complex SAC type of a restoration that needs to be done, not only prosthetically, but also surgically. And just to say, I spoke to Tony Dawson last night. This will be out as a, as a second edition soon. Because when it's not done right, as many of the speakers have mentioned, who always suffers is the patient. And this is a quote from Danny Buza. Over 90% of the aesthetic failures are iatrogenic. It's quite amazing, because we see this all the time. The consensus conference in Stuttgart back in 2008, uh, Danny and Stephen paper really summarized, based on a number of articles, the risk is about 20 to 30% for mid-facial recession of at least one millimeter. Keep that number in mind, 30%. There's no inclusion criteria in this, which there will be soon. And they came up with three really important risk factors. Thin biotype, this again mentioned, we, we look at this aesthetic risk profile on every single patient. I will not see a residence patient until they show this to me as well. Every patient in our private practice in Team Philadelphia is here today. Uh, they could vouch for that. <laughs> 